<laughs> What's going on guys? Rob with Three Strong here. Riley and I are just chilling today at home and I wanted to show you a quick core series that you can do at home. A lot of the workouts that I've been showing, at least some of the movements, um, and I've also presented some workouts, they're, they're body weight exercises and they're really simple to do and uh, granted I've been showing you inside the gym but they really don't require too much equipment really just your body weight maybe some sliders maybe uh, a dumbbell or something and you can get a pretty good workout with minimal equipment well I'm going to show you a really great series core series that you can do in your living room it uh, requires or it only involves four different movements um, and I'll show that to you right now. Riley, can you let me get to work here? Watch out, bud. Okay, so the four movements. One of them is going to be a side plank. One of them is going to be a side plank. So if you've never done a side plank, you have your regular front plank where your forearms are down and you are on your feet, keeping your body nice and solid right here. And that works the front of the body. Well, the side plank is going to work the side of your body. Riley's just going to watch. It's going to work the side of your body. So you get set up. Elbow is going to be underneath that shoulder. Feet are going to be stacked, one on top of the other. And notice how I bend my knees here. And this actually really helps that when you straighten your legs, that keeps your shoulder right over that elbow. And you're going to keep your body as straight as possible. Try not to torque and turn. With a lot of these holds, you want to maintain your center the whole time. So rotating is not maintaining your center. You want to be as straight as possible. So hips and shoulders are, are going to remain square. That's the first exercise. The next exercise is a hand walk. This one's actually going to get uh, a little bit more of the shoulders um, in terms of stability, but it's also going to get the core. So treat it like you have a yoga mat. You're going to come to the edge of that mat. You're going to bend down, walk those hands out as far as you can. As far as you can, keeping that butt tight, abs tight. Ugh. And then you're going to do those short steps back up. You walk those hands out again. Try to get as far as you can, really trying to build the tension in those abs. And then you're going to walk the hands back up. That is the hand walk. Next one, plank. You're going to get set up on the other side. Same thing applies. Knees slightly bent, feet stacked on top of one another. Shoulders over that elbow. Push yourself up. Lock those legs out and keep everything straight and square and tight. Last one, reverse crunches. On your back, hands down at your side, kick those legs up, and you're going to push your hips up off the ground. Try that little series. Side plank on the right side, or side plank left side, side plank on one of the sides. Hand walk, out and back. Side plank on the other side, and then the reverse crunches. Try each one of those movements for 40 seconds. And uh, with, you know, let's say 10 to 15 seconds rest in between. And then try to repeat that series two times. Two times is actually fairly challenging. That's really going to get you to sweat. It's a great little warm-up um, to get into maybe your full body workout after that. But it's a great way to get the abs um, working. Great way to get the, the heart rate up a little bit. To get you breathing um, a little bit before you start to do your full body workout. So in the courtesy of your own home, chilling with your dog or whatever, you can do that right here in your living room. Okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good weekend. Bye.